The Ryans are having a tea party. Two-year-old twins Emma and Abby are hosting. They're, they're, my, uh, they're my loves of my life. The CDC's National Center for Health Statistics report indicates New Jersey has the highest rate of twin births in the nation, 43.1 per 1,000 live births. We're very fortunate in New Jersey to have a, a legislature and, and politicians that mandate that the insurance companies cover infertility treatments. Only 15 states in the country uh, permit that. Which is why more New Jersey women are utilizing in vitro fertilization, says Jersey Shore University Medical Center's Dr. Mark Martins. It's how the Ryans conceive their girls. Well, in vitro fertilization is what we used to call the test tube babies. It's basically we impregnate the uh, the ovum, the egg, with the, the sperm, grow it to a certain size, usually about a week's worth of, of growth, uh, and then while it's still small enough, stick it back in the uterus. IVF typically costs anywhere between twelve to $15,000, says Dr. Martins, and usually takes two to three treatments before a woman becomes pregnant. With in vitro fertilization, you have the option of putting one, two, three, or more uh, embryos in to give you a better chance of having a baby. You know, we were willing to do anything it took to have children. Dawn Ryan says the process was challenging, but she's grateful it was effective. What's it like having twins? It's hard. Uh, having twins is definitely a challenge, but for me and Joe, we don't know any different. Dawn had a C-section. The CDC's National Center for Health Statistics report indicates New Jersey has a high cesarean delivery rate compared to many other states, 37.4%. We try to avoid it, but, uh, you know, to be on the uh, cautious side, we uh, sometimes have to do that. It's dangerous to, to sometimes wait on a baby who's having a lower heart rate and see if the problem fixes itself. It sometimes doesn't, and the, uh, the best way to get the baby out and make sure the baby's safe is to have a cesarean section. The report found in 2014 nationwide there were 743 births to women age 50 and older. Now with the new medications, you can manipulate the hormones and manipulate your ovaries, and we can get people pregnant to their 60s. As for teen pregnancies, the report found nationwide the birth rate for 15 to 19-year-olds declined 9% from 2013 to 2014. Dr. Martins credits Obamacare. He says teens now have greater access to more effective birth control at low or no cost. As for the Ryans, they say they feel blessed for their little girls. They can't imagine life without them. The best part for me is when I come home from work and I, I see them. In Spring Lake Heights, I'm Lauren Wonko and JTV News.